you're exactly what they pray to be. And this is the reason why you're a threat to them. They want to be just like you. Shout out to the WTC family. We still chosen if they accent. You're exactly what people would pray to be. You'd be very surprised how many people pray for the spirit that's on the inside of you. Chosen ones, you'd be very surprised how many people prayed for the anointing, but God only gave it to you. This is the real reason why, chosen ones, you are a threat to people. This is the real reason why people get intimidated when you come into their presence because of the simple fact they prayed for the spirit that God bestowed upon you. They wish they had your glow. Oh, they wish they had your talent and your gift. If they can ch chop off your hands and, and, and replace them with their hands, they would. If they can chop off your feet and replace them with their feet, they would. But God only made one chosen one. Many are called, but only very few are chosen. You'd be very surprised of the real reason why people don't like you. Because of the simple fact that you have become so great in what you do. You have become so great in your calling. You have become so anointed in your calling. Guess what? They realize they would never reach that level of greatness. Your frenemies, they would never reach that level of excellence. The same people that's talking about you, but as copying your identity, they copying your swag, they copying your style. Guess what? They will never ever reach that level of greatness. And you have to understand one of the real reasons why you are a threat to people. Why do people have ill intentions towards you? Why do people have jealousy towards you? Why do people hate you? Why do people, a man, wish that you can just, you know what I mean, struggle out here? They don't want to see you succeeding. They want to see you struggling. You wonder why people, a man, they don't want to see you win. They don't clap for you when you win because of the simple fact, guess what? They want to be just like you. That's deep right there because a lot of people are not even happy with themselves. A lot of people are not happy the way God created them. So they want to be jealous of you. They want to be jealous the way God created you. They want to be jealous because of, of the simple fact that, that you have this Holy Spirit on the inside of you. And that's something that they can't replicate. They too busy looking at the outer appearance. Amen. They need to be focusing on the God that's on the inside of you. Because let me tell you something. It's not the outer appearance. It's the God in me. Don't you be afraid to type this in the comments below it's, and say it's not my outer appearance. It's not my looks. It's the God in me. And you got to understand this is the, one of the main reasons why you are a threat to these Decepticons. You are a threat to your own family. You are a threat to your own friends because the minute you walk into their presence, guess what? You got that God-like spirit on the inside of you. You got that joy, unspeakable joy spirit on the inside of you. Understand what I'm saying? When you walk into people's presence, they not only get intimidated, they feel like, man, this brother is a threat because of the simple fact his presence is so real. Your spirit is so pure. This is why people lash out, 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 lash out at you out of nowhere. This is why people have fits. They have pity parties when you come into the presence. Oh, they have a pity party when, they, when you come into the party. The only reason why they're having a pity party is because of the simple fact you are the life of the party. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, calm down. I'm just here to party. Calm down. Don't have a pity party. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below because this is the real reason why you're not invited to these events anymore. You're not invited to the cookouts anymore. You're not invited to the family reunions anymore. 
Because they're going to have a pity party because of the simple fact you are the life of the party. Don't you be afraid to put in a couple of blows and say, don't have a pity party because I'm the life of the party. The minute you walk into the room, the minute you walk into people's presence, you got to understand, chosen ones, you a threat. What makes you a threat? What makes me a threat, chosen uh, Jordan, the chosen one? What really makes me a threat? I'm going to tell you what makes you a threat. Your vibe, your spirit, your aura, the way you carry yourself makes you a threat. The way you dress makes you a threat. Y'all got to pay attention. The way you shine and bright like a diamond, that makes you a threat. You don't look like what you've been through. That's another reason why you don't. That's why you're a threat to them. You're so fresh and so clean, amen. And you are. You have to realize, chosen ones, that cleanliness is next to godliness. So not only your spirit clean, your hygiene is clean. You going around people smelling good, looking good. They don't want to invite you. Because they know you're going to steal the spotlight. They don't want to invite you because they know you're the life of the party. They want to be just like you. And guess what? The only reason why they envy you is because, guess what? God didn't answer their prayer like he answered yours. Chosen ones, never forget, you pray for this anointing that you have right now. You pray for this spirit that you have right now. And people fail to realize that, amen, God didn't just give you this anointing on the silver platter. They think you got it made. They think you got it easy. Let me tell you something. You really have to go through the storms of life in order to get this anointing. You have to go through the storms of life in order to get this breakthrough. You have to go through the storms of life in order to get this spirit that you got on the inside of you right now. See, a lot of people, guess what? They jealous of you. They envious of you. But guess what? They couldn't even walk a mile in your shoes. To be chosen. They couldn't even go through the storms of life like you did. To get the anointing. Don't you be afraid to put the comments below. And say you couldn't even go through the same obstacles that I went through. In order to get the anointing. But you want to be like me. The same people that want to be like you chosen ones. Guess what? If God had to put them in the same situation as he put it you. Guess what? They would have never made it out of that situation. They're not built like you. That's why God gave his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Understand what I'm saying? That's why God is blessing you the most is because guess what? You overcame every obstacle that came your way. Understand what I'm saying? They want to be just like you. You are exactly what people pray for. You got to understand that people, when they see you, guess what? They can see everything that God is doing for you. They can see God moving on your life. They can see that God is allowing you to glow in this season. They can see that God is letting your, your light shine so bright before men. They can see it. And you best believe they can feel it. So I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones. Keep pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling because of the simple fact. Guess what? They want to be just like you. There's no need to go backwards. Keep pressing forwards and leave everybody behind. And while they're too busy trying to be like you, guess what? You became a whole totally different person. We the chosen.